I'm Anthony Califano and I will be presenting 20 educational apps and websites that can be of great use in the classroom. First, I will give an introduction to mobile learning, then the definition of an app, and the difference between a mobile app and an educational app. Mobile learning has become a significant trend in the 21st century as distant learning has become more prevalent. But besides distant learning, many resources are becoming on the go resources, where you can use them on mobile phones, tablets, iPads, etc. And this is great, not only for teachers and librarians, but for students as well. So as you can see, I put the definition of mobile learning uh, it is a form of distance learning, and it offers strong portability. An app is the abbreviated form of application. A mobile app is a computer program designed to operate on smartphones, tablets, and other devices. And educational apps, which have become more prevalent in the last 10 years, can be used in the classroom as part of a lesson to learning inter interactively. Duolingo is a great resource to show students how to learn or practice a new language. There are many different types of activities within Duolingo app, including translations and matching games. Students can even set goals for themselves and follow other people and see their progress. Uh, I really enjoyed this app, even as a student of learning new languages myself. Um, it's, it's a free website and phone tablet app with no ads. It has a tree with levels where you can see how much you have learned. Uh, it offers six languages currently, English, Spanish, German, French, and Italian. Quizlet is a free website and phone tablet app that can be used to engage students with interactive materials, games, and learning activities. It can be used almost anywhere, which is a major benefit for students. Students can use their phone, tablets, iPads to study on the go and to also be engaged in and out of the classroom. Uh, teachers and librarians can create study sets and they can play Quizlet live to learn vocabulary with the students. It's a new way to study in the 21st century rather than studying through notes and books. BrainPop is an educational app and website that features animated curriculum-based video content. It's animated and it's entertainment, so it's really interactive for the students, but it is also curriculum-based, so educa educators and librarians can trust this website. You can ser search within by age, subject, and by common core standards. There are hundreds of topics to view from including science, social studies, English, math, technology, visual arts, music, and health. BrainPop includes interactive activities, resources, quizzes, lessons plans, and tutorials. So it's a really reliable app and website, and it's fun as well.
Edpuzzle is an educational app and website where you can make any video a lesson plan. Teachers and educators and librarians simply choose a video of their choosing, add their magic touch, and track their students' understanding. It allows educators to add audio and text comments to a video. They can add open-ended questions, multiple choice questions, and they can even replace the existing audio track with their own voice to customize the learning experience. Teachers and librarians can automatically import all classroom courses and students at sign up. So it's a really easy website for teachers and librarians to set up and for the students it's very interactive. GeoGebra is a free dynamic mathematics software tool that can be used for learning and teaching. The, its curriculum materials can be inserted into Google Classroom as tasks with just a few clicks. More than 700,000 materials uh, can be found on this software and more and more are added daily as they are added to meet the STEM needs of students and teachers. So it's constantly being updated as STEM is constantly being updated as well. Uh, the subjects included are geometry, algebra, and calculus. Students can visually see abstract concepts. They can make connections through representations, and students can discover mathematics through experimentation. So it's really visual for visual learners. Bunsi is a web and iPad-based creation tool for both teachers and students. It is used to create interactive classroom content, allowing learners of all ages to visualize concepts and communicate creatively. So this is another app for visual learners. Uh, teachers and educators simply create their assignment, their notes, classroom reminders, activities, or even a project, and they share it to the students through Google Classroom. With it, teachers can prepare engaging lessons, newsletters, and how-tos. Students can write interactive digital stories, easy to build presentations, and more. So again, this app is for visual uh, presentations and visual learners, and it's really a great choice for those type of learners and all learners. Dogo News is a kid-friendly online uh, news website where kids can read articles that are safe and that are written especially for them with a younger point of view. Educators can create a class page where they can load a variety of articles, add a book list, a calendar, favorite sites list, add lesson plan instructions, monitor student comments, and more. Uh, students can select from a variety of articles that range from social studies, science, world, current events, and etc. There is an integrated dictionary for challenging words and maps for geographical content. Some of the articles include short video clips. Students may even leave brief comments, and there are many benefits to creating a class page for your students, and it's all free, so free is really good. Flipgrid allows a teacher or account holder to post a short written question and students can answer that question with the video message that is limited to 90 seconds. It's a really interactive uh, website slash app because it boosts community and social presence, not only in face-to-face -face interaction, but in hybrid interaction and in online classrooms. So this was the first time that I ever used Flipgrid in this class and I thought it was really uh, a great experience and I would definitely util utilize it in the classroom. Uh, I really like this graphic on the bottom. It shows different ideas for each subject and for example art. You can discuss artist statements, share thoughts about artwork, discuss favorite artists. So each 
subject has different ideas in that um, image. That was really cool. Fluency Tutor for Google helps busy teachers bring struggling readers up to speed, and it also helps students of all ages and ability levels become more avid, engaged, and confident readers. It also gives educators a clear picture of every child's reading attainment and progress over time. What I really liked about this app is that it's easy to use and it lets students record themselves reading aloud on their laptop, Chromebook, or tablet away from the stress and embarrassment of reading in a classroom environment. LearnZillion is an educational website with a database with over 2,000 short teacher-created and standard-based video lessons. The videos are broken down and are easily accessible by grade level, by subject area, either math or ELA, and by standard, which can include common core standards. This breakdown makes searching for a video on a specific topic easy to do, which is something I really liked from this website. Something I also liked is that it tracks student progress and achievement on the lessons and quizzes and reports the results to the teacher's dashboard for assessment. So it really makes the teacher's job easy. ListenWise is an award-winning listening skills program. There are five ways to get started with ListenWise. It gets students focused. It models good listening. It interacts with the audio. It sets up a routine and it aligns to your curriculum. ListenWise can also even be used for English learners as the text is read aloud and the speed of the text can be slowed down for greater comprehension. The collection of podcasts and public radio keeps teaching connected to the real world and builds the student listening skills at the same time. I really like this um, learning app because it really breaks down each podcast by subject and interest, but there does come a fee with this as there is a premium version of this app, so it's up to the school if they are willing to um, wanting to put money into this. Class Kick is a live tool where users can see everything and get help immediately from the teacher or even their other classmates. Educators may use pictures, worksheets, add text or audio, and videos to their lessons. Class Kick is great as school librarians, educators, and students can look at the assignments and assign them to different classes. Students are working, the librarian is able to assist or check work in real time as questions arise, all from this tool. So it's really interactive between the educator, school librarian, and the, stu and the student. So the student feels kind of involved in the process and makes them feel important, and that's always good. Quia is a tool where several type of quizzes and games that educators can create or students can practice, practice with ones that have already been made. With Quia, a school librarian can create a Jeopardy game based on different parts of a book, for example, and students will have to pair up and play the game together, answering questions Jeopardy style until all questions have been selected and there is a winner. So it's a really fun way to get students to learn about a specific topic that you may be interested in having your students learn. Some, there's also a lot of different ways you can uh, use 
Quia, including Jeopardy, labeling a map, multiple choice questions, hangman, battleship, etc. Open Ed is an educational resource that focuses on aligning resources to learning objectives. Teachers can assign Open Ed assignments, video games, and simulations with one click, so it's really easy to complete. And for completing assignments, they'll be marked done automatically, so it makes it easy for, for it, them to be graded. Accurately aligning resources also allows us as educators to pair our resources with our pre-built assessments. For every question a student misses, Open Ed automatically returns a hand-picked targeted video or game to help the student master that concept. So this was a nice way for Open Ed to target what the student needs further help in. Padlet is an online virtual bulletin board where students and teachers can collaborate, reflect, share links and pictures, and more. So it's definitely a collaborative process between the teacher or the educator and the student. Uh, Padlet allows you to create a topic board and students can just post their answers, ideas, or whatever they may want to share. And they all will display on the board as pictured in this image on the slide. This would be a great tool for something like an exit ticket or even a classroom frequently asked question board. If one student has a question, they can post it to the Padlet where another student might be able to answer it. Pear Deck is a live tool where you can make interactive slides that let every student participate in your questions or prompts right from their own devices. When you present your deck, you will get a unique code for your students to use to join your presentation from their phone or computer. So again, it's another interactive tool. Librarians can use Pear Deck to connect students through questions and contents. Students can answer anonymously, but everyone's answer can be viewed on a projector. So the projector will be at the front of the classroom and all the students will be able to view it. But the librarian controls the flow of the live sessions and is, he or she is able to hover over the answers to identify whose answer it is. Go Class is an application that allows librarians and teachers to have a flipped classroom where students can view lessons anywhere and at any time. The librarian can spend time with students in meaningful discussions and hands-on learning instead of spending time teaching the lesson, and this is all done virtually. Teachers can create and broadcast content directly to student devices again including tablets, smartphones, and computers, while simultaneously projecting supporting learning media to a shared screen. So again, this is similar to Pear Deck where it's all done virtually and it's done in real time. Kahoot is a game-based classroom response system for creating quizzes, discussions, and surveys. It would be a great way to create a formative assessment during a review or to wrap up a lesson just because it is so bright and fun. And it also does not give students a lot of time to think, so it is better at the end of a lesson. When it comes to taking the quiz, it would be easier if the librarian or the teacher has a smart board or projector. 
When it is time to take the quiz, the teacher or librarian will display the game code. Students will go to the website and enter the game code, then create a nickname. After they enter the game, it will start. The questions will be projected on the board and the students will answer on their phone or Chromebook. So again, it's an interact interactive tool. Nearpod is a free educational app which can be utilized in classrooms for real-time presentations, quizzes, polls, and class drawing activities, and to provide website content with the assistance of one-to-one -one smartphones, iPads, and other mo mobile devices. The Nearpod presentations are interactive, engaging, and they encourage student participation. The teacher can monitor student progress in real time and summary reports are provided with all assessment information. Science Buddies is a free educational app and website that allows teachers and students to quickly and easily find free project ideas and helps in all areas of science from physics to food science and music to microbiology. So we all know this time where a science fair project is due and we have no idea what topic to choose. Uh, we can send out this resource to parents and to students to help them find that perfect science fair project idea. Uh, it helps students from all walks of life build their literacy in science and technology. Uh, it also offers step-by-step -step how to do a science fair project. It, uh, it offers Ask an Expert discussion board and science fair tips for success.